KX News, we get lots of messages from viewers like you telling us about events or issues they're having. That's right, and one message in particular stood out among the rest. New this morning, it's about how schools can help students cope with anxiety or, or depression. And Becky Farr is with us now with more. Good morning, Tim and Alicia. A parent wrote to us with concerns following an incident when his daughter had a panic attack at school, and he felt the school's response could have been better. So I met with Principal Harlan Johnson over at Central Campus High School to see what sort of procedures are implemented there. You can't have a blanket for every student because we're all individuals, and we need to work with those kids so that we can find out what's going on help them get back on track so that they're getting the help that they need and we're getting them back into the classroom so that we're getting that educational component for what we're here for. So Johnson said he has noticed in recent years that more and more students are struggling with anxiety or depression and that's why the school district participates in social emotional training every year as well as implementing a student run program called Sources of Strength. The goal is to make sure that there is at least one person in the school, staff or peer that a student can feel comfortable going to. And beyond school walls, he said the most helpful thing is keeping an open line of communication between parents and and administration so that there are as many eyes and ears on a student as possible. The teachers a lot of times are calling down, stepping down in the counseling office saying, hey, I'm noticing something's up with, with Johnny. What's going on here? Because they're just in tune to those things. They notice when different things come up. So there are only three counselors at Central Campus and more than 1,000 students, so it is a big task. Now, it may not always be possible, but if the school does have the ability to establish a sort of safety net between parent, student, and any staff member, that is the best bet to make sure that a student can stay on track. It really comes down to just staying uh, up to date and staying in communication on all levels. That sounds like that's the key, is uh, making sure everybody in the school is kind of on the same page yeah. uh, with school and staff. Uh, student or teachers yeah. and staff, and, I should say. And it is a, a big feat, especially in a larger school when you have more students that, yeah. to, to recognize that. So it's great yeah. to see what they're doing. Thank you, Becky.